¿Qué le va bien? Do you own the company? I mean, I'm just... Yeah. I'm just standing here and I'm like, shit, I Oh, bro, we're jumping in. show off at the Dallas landfill. Tuesday, happy days. Wednesday, Thursday, that's the day. It's Thursday morning. It's a really, really beautiful morning. I, honestly, today's one of the best mornings that I've seen in a very, very long time here in the DFW area. I want to throw my shout out really quick to Joe from Supreme Hauling in Nevada was asking me, he asked me a great question. I want to get this out of the way. He asked me, what time is the summit that is coming up next week is over on Sunday? And I told him, I said, listen, we're going to talk all day on Sunday. So whatever time you want to leave on Sunday, that's totally up to you. If it's going to be five, six, seven, eight, or nine o'clock, that is totally up to you. I'm cool with it. Uh, if y'all want to leave at four or five or six, but I think there's going to be people staying a little longer that want to get more information uh, and get one-on-one -on -one talk. So I think Sunday in the morning, I know I talked to Tony, but Sunday in the morning we're going to just pour it on really strong. And then as the day goes on, uh, we're just going to, you know, talk to people and stuff and, and communicate with them. But we will have an itinerary that Tony is fixing up, so just throw it out there. So anyway, let's get back to work. I got my boy Diego right here. Diego? Hola. Uh, that's one thing about Diego. He always drinks Red Bull. Um, <laughs> okay, let's talk about what we got on the schedule, guys. Uh, we have three jobs on the schedule. Kind of a slow day, actually. Another three-day job. Uh, got in an argument with the 12-yard dumpster guy this morning. Uh, he wanted the dumpster, but he wants it for construction use, and I couldn't give it to him again. Uh, but the first job is going to be a dandy, okay? It is a dresser at a hoarder apartment. Seems like it's an apartment home or a condo or something like that. And the homeowner has bed bugs. Oh, shit. So we got to go in there. And I wore shorts today, not even thinking. But I heard uh, that it's not that bad. It's just that the dresser does have bed bugs and we're going to have to get it out. But I got my boy Diego. And Diego is big bug repellent. He's like a bed bug repellent, so nothing happens to him. Oh, right here. These are apartment homes right here. Copper yeah, Copper's Crossing. So we're here, guys, right now. We're going to get out. We're going to do a full time lapse of this thing, and we're going to get this bed bug dresser out of here in just a second as we're driving down here. So let me turn the camera around real quick. All right, we're here, guys. Let's get to work. Hi boss, just a hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, take it easy boss. Appreciate it. All right guys, there it is. It is a dresser and mirror 
100 bucks, not bad. Let's get out of here. Yep, let's go. Yeah. All right, we're off to the next job. Uh, the next job's gonna be in Dallas, Texas. Actually going to pick up a junk on the side of the house. That's it, that's all we got. We got one for y'all guys this morning. Uh, I got a narrow, very narrow driveway. I'm gonna try to put the trailer in. So that's it right there. There is some junk on the other side. I'm gonna try to get this trailer. I'm in a very tight position, but I usually maneuver this. I can usually make it happen, okay? We just arrived, I can put this in there, and we'll see if I can do some magic. Wow, I think I got it on my first try. Let's go see what I did. I'm trying to get it in this garage. Just finished up here in Dallas, Texas. 200 bucks, not much. Gonna finish out the job. We're heading two more. All right, guys, let's go. Got something. Well, I was working, I did notice something that Diego was lost. If you notice in the video, he doesn't show up like right at the start, and I'm working. I'm the only one working. And I, I guess I continued to work for about five or ten minutes by myself. And I didn't say nothing, but then I noticed something when I got in the truck. We just finished the job removing all that wood, which was way under bid, okay? Way under bid. This, this is not my bid. I would have never priced it at $200. It's a $250 job, but you know what? On a slow day, don't forget, you can't miss on a lot of things. But I did it. Here's the thing that I want to talk about. Why was Diego missing? Well, I just figured it out. He saw a lady walking down the street selling tamales and he actually stopped her. <laughs> so he bought tamales from her. Let me see Diego. We're gonna try one out. Mm. Not like a hot tamale on a cool day. Completed that job. Cleaning out a garage. Really simple. 150 bucks. Not bad at all. I 
I got everything, dude. I'm done. I'm leaving already. I'll catch up with you later. Don't worry about it. You'll call me back. No worries. Hey, no, no worries, brother. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll catch up later. Okay? All right, bye-bye. That wasn't bad. So that was a Dallas Cowboy player. He lives there. He's a linebacker for the Cowboys. Um, he's nice, man. Really cool guy. He's he's always there. This is the first time that I've came. He's not there. As a matter of fact, I sent Madison to do um, this guy uh, last month. I come about once a month, and I just pick up the trash, just stuff that he can't fit inside the trash can. He gets a lot of stuff, and he gets a lot of shoes from the Cowboys. So that's cool, too. Anyway, you guys, we're going to head out to the last job of the day. We're going to finish this up. And I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Last stop of the day. It's just a refrigerator. Nothing big. That's it. That is the last job of the day. Not bad. 175. No, that wasn't 175. That was uh, 135 bucks for that job. Not bad. A fridge and a treadmill. We only came for the fridge. Well, let's talk about what was on the schedule today, guys. We finished this job all today it is two o'clock 2 30 actually we're getting home should be home by about three o'clock day we started off at about 10 10 30 we are done for the day guys so let's talk about what we did 60 65 degrees today right it's about 60 degrees 60 degrees about 60 degrees it's beautiful outside uh let's talk about what we did our our first job that we actually did today we went to pick up a dresser that had bed bugs we didn't see any bed bugs on it but we took it we charged them 100 for that dresser uh, the second job we actually did was a job in Dallas where the guy was really, really picky. He was actually uh, had a lot of trash on the side of this house. Job should have been two fifty. We charged him two hundred dollars. We just got the job. Actually, Vic sent us that job, so we got that one. I gave him one job yesterday. He gave me one job today, so it worked out in our benefit really good. Uh, the third job was at Justin's house. Dallas Cowboy player Justin uh, called us out. We cleaned out his garage. We charged him one hundred and twenty-five bucks easy money and then now we just completed this job today guys this job uh was it was a refrigerator for 45 and a um treadmill for 75 and that was uh i, I don't know i think that's 135 bucks something like that it, it doesn't matter guys we are done for the day a little over 400 dollars uh gonna call it a day i hope y'all realize how much driving we did because i think we drive more than we actually do the jobs uh, this job took us about 20 minutes to get to, and the job took us about 10 minutes. Uh, to get to Frisco from Dallas took us 30 minutes, and we actually cleaned out the Dallas Cowboys players' garage in about eight minutes. So it really, driving there to a location and doing the job uh, actually always takes us longer than the actual finishing the job you know what i mean so if y'all understand what i mean anyway guys that's gonna end it for me today uh diego says bye, bye amigos. and i will talk to y'all later guys don't forget if y'all like these videos to subscribe over there to the right side on the left side tell your friends about my videos check out my other ones okay guys see you later bye bye guys